Okay, so we're going to play with stability and balance and we'll see if we can figure it out and come up with something. I have no idea. Okay, so again, balance is the ability to either we with or not, no, but like find it within the vestibular system in the body, where stability is more with movement and either steady or in movement and being able to stay stable. <laughs> as simple as that. So let's start with the on the floor. Now you used your leg. I mean, it, again, it's, it's not good or bad. It's noticing and trying to find what it is. What is it? Maybe, let's try something else. 
maybe I can push this sitting bone down and allow this one to rise, hiking at the pelvis. Remember last week we did that, remember that movement last week? Maybe we can find it here in sitting. So, bend your knees, put your hands on the side, and lift one hip up. There you go. And down. And maybe open your feet, your legs a little wider, and a little closer, so you can actually have stability. And lift the other hip, without letting the knee go with you. So you're trying to build up at the center of the body. There you go. And now bring your legs into sitting, into cross-legged. Now you really can shift with your knees and your legs. And lift one hip up. And see if you can Rest on one, on one side. And down. Uh, falling is good. And then the other side. Lift the pelvis. How much am I going off center? And how much am I able to not lean? So again. Ah, towards the belly button, towards the sitting bone, and can I stay right over the sitting bone, or do I need to be here? Where am I? Over the sitting bone. And down. Uh, and. So if you want the challenge of getting stronger core, those are fine. Those are the wonderful things to do at home. You don't need any machine. And change which leg is in front. And we're going to do the same thing. Shift to one side. And what does your brain say about this leg being in front? Easier, harder. Are your ribs working? The muscles in between the ribs, the intercostalis. Are your abdominals on the side? Those muscles go across like this. Are they working? And now we're going to go down into laying position. The feet will be standing. We are not going to do a lot of that. We're going to be laying down completely flat. We're going to press the feet into the floor. Allow the tailbone to start coming up. And we're going to lift the lower body up to a diagonal between the knee and the shoulders. In this position, allow the right side of your body, of your hip, to drop down a little bit, but keep the left side up. So you need to be stable on your feet. Your legs are holding you up. And now bring the right hip back to the same level. And work with both legs holding you. And when you feel that you are centered and strong, allow the left side to drop. And then lift the left side back into the center. 
If your legs are shaking, you can go down. If they're not shaking, do it again. Letting the right side go down. And then bring it back up. Find the stability. Drop the left side down. And lift the left side up. Find the stability and the strength in the center. Both feet are into the floor. The pelvis is up. There's a straight diagonal line from the knees to the shoulders. If you, are, if you need to rest, go down. If you can do it a few more times. Listen to your body. You are here to have an experience, not to prove anything and not to go beyond your abilities. So rest whenever you need to. The next time that you come up to the center, slowly lower one vertebra at a time, very, very gently, lots of love and care, one vertebra at a time. When you get close to the lumbar, make sure that you put the lumbar before you allow the pelvis to go down. Really iron every single vertebra. And when you reach the floor, completely lengthen your legs. Go ahead and bend one leg and then bend the other leg. And slowly start peeling your spine off the floor one vertebra at a time until you get to straight diagonal line from knees to shoulder. From knees to shoulder. Your hip is up in the air. In this position with the pelvis, the two sides of the pelvis directly up towards the ceiling, see if you can lift your left leg off the floor. And what does it take for you to keep the leg? And find the center and the balance on one leg. And then put the left leg down and lower the, the whole thing down. Slowly one vertebra at a time. When you're ready, roll the spine back up. And see if you can lift the right leg off the floor. And what does it take on this side? And when you're heading up, put the leg down and roll your spine down. So you just straighten your legs, straighten your legs. And in your own time, do it again and I'm going to walk around. So in your own time, bend your legs. The hip is up in the air, there's a diagonal line. First you lift oh, your right. hip up, you create the diagonal line. And only then you find the balance being on one leg. The leg can be straight in line with the other knee or can be straight up to the ceiling. And when you're done, 
Don't forget to rest. It's your body. It's your friend. Don't be that. And when you finish the last movement, slowly go down, one vertebra at a time, putting the lumbar before you release your pelvis, and then lengthen the legs. One more thing here. So bend your knees once again. Tilt your spine back into the diagonal line between knees and shoulders. So there is a diagonal between the space, the negative space, you know, between your leg, the floor, the legs, and your back. There is a diagonal, straight <coughs> and diagonal. We're going to tilt the right the pelvis again, so the right hip is tilted down and the left side is up. And now try to lift the right leg with that tilt. Bring the leg back. Don't change the tilt. The right hip is down, the left hip is up. Let the left leg go up. With that tilt. Let the leg come back down. Straighten the back, the hip. And lower the, hip, the spine down one vertebra at a time. And then we're going to roll the spine back up. Straight line from knee to shoulder. So the yang straight line. Tilt the left hip down, the right hip stays up. Once you get there, left, left leg up. 
not to the ceiling, not higher than the knee. Keep the tilt of the pelvis and then bring the leg back in. Stay with the tilt, don't lower the spine and see if you can lift the right leg up. And when you have enough of this, bring the leg down, straighten the pelvis, and lower one vertebra at a time. Instead of straightening the leg, we bring one knee to the chest and the other knee to the chest and hug. Rock the legs a little bit, rock the lower back. and rest. Go ahead and change your position so your feet are on the wall. The knees are bent and the distance is depending on how long your lower legs are from the feet to the knees. Slowly and gingerly, gently go down and 
then try to see if your other leg is stable enough and strong enough and can get you up. And if it's not, be nice to it. Go halfway, just to the beginning. Maybe get it a little bit further to the side from the center of the body. In your own time, take your time, roll to the side, and very, very slow, come up to a sitting, again take it the time that you need.
Turn to the side so you can something to hold on to. Stand hip width, I mean a shoulder width apart and lift the right hip up. Come back down. Shoulder to shoulder. And lift the left hip up. Lift it up. And down. And bring the legs to hip width. And lift the hip up and down and lift the hip up and down and bring the feet together and lift the hip up and down and then without taking the leg hiking and the hip up. And open the legs to the shoulder width. Put your hands on the hip. And you really feel that this one is coming up. Left one is coming up. And now it's coming down. And now the right one will come up. And down. And go to shoulder, to hip width. One more time. Shoulder width. Lifting the pelvis up. You're my steady. I think you can hear this. <laughs> and down. Uh, falling is okay. Falling is finding it. That's the only way to get it. It's 
Salim, nothing with the leg. It's the pelvis that's going up. There you go. And down. And now just say it up. There you go. And down. 